In this video, I'll be showing you how to do hair and makeup for pre-primary and primary students. Smooth the hair back away from the face and apply a glob of gel to the hair. Smooth back and comb through and work through the hair as you go. For dancers with fringes, short hair or fine hair, putting the hair into a half up, half down is a great way to get a good ponytail to do a good base for a bun. Using a comb, separate the top section of the hair from the bottom into a small ponytail. This should sit at the top of the crown of the head. Continue to comb and smooth the hair back and apply more gel as needed until you get a nice, neat, pulled back top section. Secure the top ponytail with a elastic that matches your dancer's hair color. Careful of the hairs in the down section as they can get caught up and pull and it's uncomfortable for your dancer. With the hair in a nice, neat, half up, half down, we can now continue to make a ponytail for the bun. If you've not done the half up, half down, you can just go straight into a ponytail here. Lift the hair from the nape of the neck and smooth into a ponytail at the crown of the head. If you look closely, you'll see that the ponytail that I'm creating here follows the line from the chin to the ear. This creates a really flattering line and is a good height for buns. Once you've got the hair in a nice height ponytail, apply gel to the nape of the neck and smooth all the hair into the ponytail. Be careful to get all the baby hairs as smooth as you can. Secure the ponytail with a strong elastic and make the ponytail nice and tight. This will help ensure you get a really good sturdy bun. With the hair in the ponytail, loosely twist the hair and twirl around the bun. Tuck in the ends as you need to and secure loosely with a pin so you can free up your hands. Grab your hair net and place over the bun and pull to keep it taut. Then loop and twist it back over itself until you run out of hair net. You can tuck the end under once you've used most of it up. You can smoosh the bun and flatten to get a nice good shape. Using strong hairpins, catch the side of the bun and place the pin in and hook underneath. This will ensure that the bun is securely attached to the head and doesn't move. Most buns need about eight hairpins, but longer or thicker hair may need more. Continue adding pins around the bun until it feels nice and secure. Get your dancer to shake their head to confirm that it's feeling nice and tight and secure. Covering your dancer's eyes, spray a good amount of hairspray all around the hair and smooth back. This will set the hair and keep all the little fine hairs nice and sleek. Now onto makeup. Using a soft blush brush, apply a small amount of pale pink or coral blush to the cheekbones and blend out. I'm using a dabbing motion here as it builds up a nice amount of colour without looking stripy. A little bit of mascara can make a big difference on stage. A good tip to help do mascara is to use your thumb to lift the eyebrow like I'm doing in this video. 
Then use a little wiggle motion to lift the lashes up and apply a light coat of mascara. For dancers with really fair eyebrows, I use a tinted brow gel just to add a little bit of definition, which helps to frame the face. I'm just brushing this through the hairs on the eyebrows nice and naturally, and you can see that a little bit makes a big difference. Apply a touch of lipstick that's a little bit deeper than the natural lip colour. Something with a little bit of a pinky tone, coral or a slightly pinky brown is really nice on stage and doesn't look overdone. I find with little lips a brush gives you a lot more control. 